please introduce Dr. Thomas Mangano. Thank you very much. Good morning. Let's try that again. Good morning. Good morning. There we go. Uh, I want to take uh, the opportunity to thank you very, very much for having me here this morning. It's really uh, quite a privilege to represent the educational part of this forum. Not that education is devoid from any of the things that we're doing, but it's really an integral part of what we're doing here at school. Um, just last past two weeks, our president just came back from a, a tour, a multinational tour, to try to establish build business partnerships. And that's really what we're doing here today. Uh, we're talking about the opportunity for you as young people to go beyond yourselves and to navigate for success in the future. To move yourselves from your comfort zone and to try different experiences and experience different insights. And while I was preparing my opening comments today, I was thinking back to when I was a young man, a very young man, uh, living in a different country, well, some would consider a different country, uh, a place called Brooklyn. <laughs> and we were considered to be quite a unique group of people because we had our own language and our own customs. And whenever we came to visit my cousin on the island, that's what we called Long Island, the island, it was a whole cultural experience for me. You see, because I came from a place where there were apartment houses. Have you ever seen apartment houses? I lived on the top floor of an eight-story apartment house. And all those apartments were clustered together on one block. And that was really great during the summer because we had the fireworks. We went on the roof and got a bird's eye view of the fireworks. But we visited Long Island, the island, and it was remarkable. Houses were separated from each other. There were these green lawns, beautiful trees. It was very, very quiet. And when my cousins visited me, well, they came to a place that was kind of noisy, very, very busy, and nobody ever slept. They were also experiencing something called, well, a foreign language, actually, it was called Brooklynese. Now, in Brooklyn, we used expressions such as um, taking a ride on the L. Now, for those of you that don't know, the L was a train that was elevated and took us from Brooklyn to Manhattan to Queens to the Bronx. That was another country far, far away. <laughs> and what we considered to be the suburbs, Staten Island. We also drank egg creams. Anybody in this room ever drink an egg cream? It has absolutely nothing to do with eggs, right? It is one of the most delicious and refreshing drinks, and yet that was part of our world's culture. And the fact that only a few of you could raise your hand because you had taken advantage of the egg cream tells us that was something that you were not exposed to. We also had some very interesting sports in Brooklyn. We played punch ball and stick ball. And unlike here, we have green ball fields and home plate and all that and grass, lots of grass. Our ball field was the street. And the first sewer cover was home plate. About 25 or 30 feet away was the pitcher's mound, another sewer cover. Beyond that was second base. And then if the block was long enough, we had the outfield. And those were, I see some, some heads, uh, we played some stick ball together, didn't we? Yes. Oh, I see. I think we beat you one season, didn't we? <laughs> and as strange as these worlds were for us as kids, when I finally moved out to the island, and the country then was Baldwin in Nassau County, which is hardly uh, what we would consider country today. My cousins and I realized that we had a great deal in common in that by respecting and appreciating and enjoying each other's cultures, we grew. And that's what we're about today. You see, we left our comfort zone. 
we decided to experience things. And as a result of those experiences, we were the richer for it. And what I'm encouraging you to do today is to look beyond yourselves. There is an exciting, remarkable, very dynamic world out there. And just as our culture is great, there are other cultures with treasures as well. We'll talk a little bit about that. Since the beginning of the 21st century, millions of immigrants each year come to our shores. Awesome. Awesome opportunities for us. Look around you. The people with whom you'll be meeting after I speak today come to you from experiences worldwide. What a great opportunity for you to share who you are and at the same time develop a respect for those other countries. You see, success, successful business people do that. They understand there's another world out there beyond their own culture. So what I would ask you to do is to go beyond yourself, celebrate the accomplishments of your friends and your competitors, local and global, because you never know. That competitor may be your business partner someday. I want you to appreciate the fact that we live in a multicultural world. Leave your comfort zone and understand a few things. Number one, that a handshake in the United States may mean something totally different in another country. And that making eye contact is not always a sign of respect in certain cultures. And in certain cultures, to be silent and to learn to listen is a sign of wisdom and experience. That's what I mean by going outside your comfort zone. Something else. I want you to consider this for a second. It's awesome. Currently, worldwide, there are nearly 7,000 languages. 7,000. 2,000 alone in Asia and Africa. Now, as you know, that's why you're part of this forum. Language is a treasure. And by appreciating the languages of other cultures, we also use those languages to discover the treasures of other cultures, to experience what they're about understand that language is the key to partnerships. And it's not just verbal language. It's expressions as well. And so what I would ask you to do is to leave your comfort zone. Today, talk with us about how you can be a risk taker. Because very often in business, risk takers are successful. And by taking a risk, I mean going beyond who you are and appreciating and respecting the person whose country you're visiting. Go beyond yourselves. Leave the cocoon. When you do that, you'll be giving yourself the skills and the wings to fly, to expand in your own lifestyle. And once you do that, I guarantee that you'll have navigated for success. I want to wish you the best of luck and thank you very much.